As we look to the future, we're going to see big changes in the fleet. The makeup of our road users is going to really change from what we know today. What that will mean with more cycling, we hope, and more walking, and also more autonomous vehicles, is some real opportunities to think how we can re-engineer our infrastructure to best support their needs. We're going to have to think very hard about what our cities will look like in the future and how we're going to manage the vehicle's use of that space. Future road infrastructure has got to be tailored to the conditions going forward and that means that we've got to account for the fact that we're going to have more use of the road, we're going to have more congestion and so the, the, the road has got to be uh, tailored for that environment. At the moment the way we raise revenue for roads is through uh, vehicle excise duty and fuel duty. Now in the future, as vehicles get more efficient and use less fuel, and as electric vehicles become a larger proportion of the fleet, we're not going to be able to raise revenue in that way. There's also a real opportunity to improve the sustainability of our road network if we can get the durability improved. We can see there's opportunities to increase the amount of recycled material that we use in our asphalt and also to increase the use of lower temperature asphalt. We need to look ahead to the wider infrastructure that we need to support the introduction of connected and autonomous vehicles and we also need to be considering how platoons of heavy vehicles on our strategic network need to be catered for.